One of the greatest maritime mysteries is the Franklin Expedition. What happened to the 129 men and these two massive ships? Welcome to my Stranger Things series where I talk about the weird, wacky, and wild things solved by science. Let's get into it. In 1845, two of the most technologically advanced ships at the time, the HMS Erebus and the HMS Terror, set sail from England with 129 men on a mission to chart the last unnavigated section of the Northwest Passage through the Canadian Arctic and were led by Sir John Franklin, a celebrated Arctic explorer. But they would never be seen again. The British Navy launched over 30 rescue expeditions and ended up mapping more of the Arctic than Franklin did, but found almost nothing. In 1854, Scottish explorer John Ray spoke with Inuit communities who reported seeing both ships and encountered desperate, starving men. They described finding bodies and evidence of cannibalism and provided incredibly specific details about where the ships had gone. But Victorian England dismissed these accounts partly due to racism and partly because they couldn't accept that their naval heroes had resorted to cannibalism. Then there was a breakthrough in the 80s. Anthropologist Owen Beatty exhumed three crew members buried on Beachy Island. And to his surprise, the permafrost preserved the bodies almost perfectly. The analysis revealed extraordinarily high levels of lead in their bones and tissues. And that's because of this. The expedition had used a then cutting edge technology, 8,000 tin cans, with lead solder. Every meal was slowly poisoning them. In 2014, Canadian researchers finally located the HMS Erebus exactly where Inuit oral history said it would be. Two years later, they found HMS Terror in Terror Bay, sitting upright on the seafloor, with hatches still closed and dishes on shelves. Again, precisely where Inuit testimony had said. One Inuit man, Sammy Kovic, had actually seen one of the ships decades later while hunting and reported its location. But searchers didn't take him seriously. So here's what we think ultimately happened. The ships became trapped in ice near King William Island and were stuck there for nearly two years. The survivors ultimately abandoned ship and tried to walk the over a thousand miles south towards safety. But by this point, the lead poisoning, the starvation, and the cold had taken its cumulative effect. The Inuit accounts of cannibalism were later confirmed by cut marks on the bones from expedition sites. The Franklin expedition teaches us a critical lesson. Indigenous knowledge is scientific knowledge. They had accurate information about the ship's locations for 170 years, but Western explorers largely ignored them until modern technology confirmed what they had already said. Follow me for more Stranger Things series and make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel for a very special Mystery Solved by Science all about Amelia Earhart.